We got Lenny Kravitz in the studio. What's happening? Hey, baby. Good to see you, man. How are you? It's a rough day, man. It's another one, isn't it? It's another yeah, you weird know, one. Where's everybody going? I don't know. Did you know? Did you ever see that thing he was talking about? Um, Chemtrails, Prince. On, oh. He was on some uh, ra oh, yeah. uh, radio Come show. On, you, you've seen him, man. Do you think there's truth in that? Oh, yeah. That it's making you... I see him. Now, I can't explain you 100% what it is, but I see him. He, he said it makes people angry. In fact... And stupid. I took pictures of it the other day out in Malibu. That picture you sent of me on the freeway, I could tell you lived in Malibu with all that <laughs> seagull poop on the... On the on you it. see that? They do it on all the cars along there. You know, I don't wash the car, man. Hey, baby. But, uh, yeah. But here we are, man, and uh, the day has to move forward, but... Uh, 57. I'm shocked. It's not that old. At all. And he, you know, he was kind of ageless. Yeah. I mean, in amazing shape. Uh voice never moved yeah. you know the voice sounds the same as it did the day it came out yeah body in great shape is playing always in top form yeah you know and just he was so lively you know and uh you know we spent a lot of time together over the years um and then did you ever meet him on any little islands uh not little islands i I always wanted to get him to the Bahamas where, yeah. where I live, but at that <clears> time he wasn't really coming down to an island. He he was, you know, he, he was in Spain for a while. He had a place there um, that was kind of out somewhere quiet. Um, but uh, he spent a lot of the time in cities, you know. Um, he had a place in Paris, as I do. He had a beautiful apartment. He used to go over there and play pool. Um, and hang out. Is he just like a regular guy? You know, yeah, I mean, he's, yes, two-sided. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, regular, funny, goofy, cool guy. And then, you know, the the myth that he lives up to. Yeah. You know, but yeah, he liked, he liked to play pool. He liked to play ping pong. Very, very competitive. Um, uh, loved to laugh. Loved comedy. Love being silly, you know. Uh, we had a lot of fun together. Did um, I'm, I remember meeting him when he just started mm. in London in a club called the Embassy Club, mm. and the Pistols were still going, and I was out gallivanting one night, one of these clubs up up by the West End, mm. and he was sitting at standing at his bar. It was a long bar and it was early and there wasn't a lot of people and he was just standing there. Mm. And I'm like, who's that dude up there? I had no idea who he was. This was like, even before, what was his first album? With Co Controversy, is that the first record? No, no, uh, it's Prince, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When he's got, the, you, he's got the frizzy Prince, hair. Yeah, yeah. That was the one, that was it. That was the look he had. Prince, the first one, yeah. That was the look he had. Mm. And, and it was just interesting. And he walked by and I said, hello. And he said, hello. Mm. And, and, that was, it, and that was it? That was it. Jumped to 100 years later, mm -hmm. this rehearsal place on Lancashire Boulevard. I was in there to see this band, um, I, some young band who wanted a producer. I went and saw him, and he was rehearsing in the other room. Mm -hmm. And I'm out in the hallway, and he walks by again, says hello. And I said hello, and that was it. That was that was my... Uh, you got two hellos, man. Two hellos. Yeah. So that, that that's my print stories. <laughs> yeah, man. But... um. Yeah, I mean, was you bummed with 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 the whole Bowie thing? You know, it's funny because when I was uh, in high school, the two examples that led me to where I was going yeah. was Prince and Bowie. That was it. Mm. That's those are the you know. Uh, examples yeah that that influenced me so much the yeah. two of them yeah um and you know i got to work with bowie i got to know him a bit um we were on the same label for a while um and you know i was just really blessed to be able to do that and you know he passed and that that, that really affected me you know all these people you know the older we get we're going to see people go a lot more you yeah. know but these people that have made such marks you know you don't see them as going 
Yeah, it's, you never think they're gonna go. Yeah. And uh, you know, now this morning, you know, and and I knew, I, I knew a few days ago something was weird because I'd gotten a phone call about the plane landing. Uh, his when, when was that? Was that a week ago? Uh, yeah, a few, yeah, a week. Yeah. How many days? Yeah, and uh, made an emergency landing, and uh, I made some phone calls to try to find out some things. But you know, I thought, okay, well, that was a close call, you know, it, and then. This but there's, there's no one knows what he's sick from. Uh, what is he sick? I from? have some ideas, but you know, I, yeah. don't want, I can't say anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's a real, it's a real, it's a real drag. Would you say he was a genius? There's, there's no other word. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. <clears throat> To play all the instruments, to write the music, to perform that way, to have a whole a movie, yeah, a look, a whole thing, a whole direction. He did everything. Yeah, he did everything, and of course, you know, was one of the major influences for me of playing all the instruments and sure. and and you know uh, uh, producing myself. It was Prince, Stevie Wonder, Todd Rundgren, yeah, Paul McCartney guys who did everything themselves and made records on their own yeah um you know those were great influences and so he was at the top of that list yeah mm. Mm -hmm. it's a real bummer yeah man what do you do though man keep on keeping on you, baby you, 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 know? you do right yeah absolutely i mean you know what's your reaction mine is like when someone goes mm. you know, i'm kind of bummed out or i get a delayed bummed out and then you kind of get over it. Well, I'm definitely delayed. I mean, you know, look, these things, you know, I've I've lost both my parents, my grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles. I I've I've lost so many people in my life at an, at an early time, you yeah. know. And uh unfortunately, uh I don't want to say I've gotten used to it. That's not the word, but I've been through yeah. so so much death, you know. It's like it, it's just something that's going to happen. It's just part of you it, you know. All. And so it you know just lets you know, man. Just you got to live your life. You got to do the best you can. Uh, you got to, you know. I want to fulfill my purpose. I want to be the me that I was created to be, and you know, try not to compromise too much, and yeah, you know, stick to who I am and what I believe in, and and so uh, the beat of your own drum. You know, so these are the kind of things that make you know, man. Life is short, bro. It so really that's, is. You know, that's why I jumped in the car. You know, we we had planned on this and. You know, you and I go way back. People probably don't know about that, but you and I go way back. And and uh, so I said, let me get in the car and come see my buddy and let's talk and listen to music and let the day do what it's going to do. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Well, let's play um, let's play some Jimi Hendrix. What you got? Angel. All right. Jones's Jukebox, Carlos, my guest Lenny Kravitz is a bit of Jimi Hendrix. Take it away. 